freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you're okay. As you can tell, it's rather cold. <laughs> we're in Middlesbrough today. It's minus four degrees and we're just getting offloaded. We've got a four load, well we did have a four load of paved stone on. It's nearly off now. Um, from here, we're heading to the Port of Blythe to get loaded um, with what's on the paperwork. It just says, um, what does it say? Packaging, that's what it says. So it could be anything. Um, so we're heading to the Port of Blythe to get some packaging. And then from the Port of Blythe, once we get loaded, we're heading all the way up to Peterhead. But I'm wearing one glove and one no glove. <laughs> we're heading up to Peterhead, which is north of Aberdeen. It's quite a, quite a journey we've got planned. So uh, yeah, let's get this off and let's get going. Uh, there we go, two more to come off either side. Luckily I've got two forklifts on me, so um, it's coming off quite quick. This come from Tilbury Docks, so um, we did leave Tilbury Docks yesterday about 12 o'clock. We've just turned up now, uh, eight o'clock in the morning in Middlesbrough. It's about an hour or so to the Port of Blythe next. In fact, I think it's more like an hour and a half to the Port of Blythe. And then from there, once we get loaded, it could be a good, I don't know, six hours maybe? Maybe five, six hours? So. There's a very good chance we won't be offloading today. I don't, I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna have enough time to get up there because we've already done like two hours worth of driving already. So we're gonna be very close to, a, to an eight hour drive. We could be parking up as south as, I say south, but as south as Dundee, <laughs> um, which is still obviously north of, uh, of Great Britain, United Kingdom, I should say. But uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna be well and truly in Scotland today. Gonna to be lovely roads, hopefully. Some of the roads are quite icy and snowy, so I've been told, but it should be okay. But yeah, we're going to be going up past Edinburgh, Dundee, and then I think it's up the A90 or something, up to Aberdeen, and then Peterhead, which would be like sort of top right corner if you look at a map. So it's going to somewhere called Lunar Fishing. So it could be cold, windy, and it could stink of fish. <laughs> One more either side, nearly done. Five more minutes, we'll be out of here. Right, okay, we're tipped. Get the engine on. Lovely. Okay, so that's looking rather sunny out there. Let's put my glasses on before before we crack on. Oh, also paperwork before I forget is in my pocket. So yeah, we've got to head up to Port of Blythe now, which is an hour and 12 minutes away on the sat nav. At some point we do need to get fuel. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until we get loaded first and then get fuel on the way up. Um, this delivery, I don't think it's scheduled till tomorrow anyway, but well, the paperwork says Wednesday. It's just typical that a van now turns up. Are we going? Yeah. Portless let me through. Cheers, mate. Lovely jubbly. Windscreen is a little bit dirty. I can't wash it right now because the washers weren't working. Mm -hmm. Hang on, they're working now. Mm -hmm. It's so cold, it's frozen. <laughs> but they're working now. That's cool. Right, we want to go left here, so we need this van to clear off. Someone let him out, please. Yeah. Need someone to give me a little bit of room. Thank you very much. Lovely. So yeah, we're gonna make our way up there now. Like I said, it just says packaging on the paperwork, so I'm not entirely sure 
what it is we're loading. Um, the place we're going to, it, it looks like a fishing company. So they go and store fish and stuff. So I'm going to assume it's just packaging for the fish in like massive bundles. That's what I'm going to assume. Let's clean the mirrors. Salt's been spreaded up here, so they're getting dirty quickly. Um, so yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of driving. We've got sirens behind us, I think. Are they on the main road somewhere? Where are these sirens coming from? Don't know. I've been seeing reports as well. People on my Facebook page, because obviously if you don't follow me on social media, I've already posted on there that I'm going up to Scotland. Okay, there's the ambulance. Just there, look. Yeah, so I already posted on social media that I'm heading up to Scotland today and a few people have commented saying that lorries are getting stuck and the roads are quite bad and it's snowing and this and that. So we might see some of that, I'm not entirely sure. I do believe we are mostly sticking to coastal roads on the way up. So we're not really going to be inland so much, we're just going to be on the edge going all the way up, pretty much. Then we're going to go in to Edinburgh, over the bridge, and then sort of back round again and tuck up past Dundee and all that. So, But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. We're an hour and ten minutes away, so I'll leave you now. I'll see you when we get there, and uh, hopefully we can get loaded quite quickly and we can get on. See you in a bit. Okay, right, we are in Blythe. Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. Blythe. And uh, we're only a mile away, so we're going to be there very soon. Uh, the company who we are collecting from doesn't actually appear on Google. Um, but there are security gates, so I'm, I'm sure we're probably just going to have to stop at security, ask where we're going. But if I had to guess, I would say as we turn in... There is a like a shed on the left, and on the Google Maps, when I looked last night, you can see a truck inside being loaded either side. So I'm hoping it's that's the case. It'll be a case of going past security, left, then left again, and sort of coming around on yourself, and then loading inside a building. That's what I'm going to guess, but that is a complete guess. We've got to go to a company called Transped. Transped. So let's see, uh, let's see how fast we can find them. Right, so yeah, this this yellow shed here, I have a feeling it could be loading out of there. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to turn right. Lovely. I don't see Transped on that sign. Maybe, uh, maybe it's not in here, but I think it is. Maybe it isn't now, I don't know. See what security says. <laughs> Morning, you all right? Morning, three off the... Uh, I gotta go to Transped. No idea where it is though, you'll have to direct me. I will do. I just need to take a couple of deals off you. What's the company? Uh, Harry and Sons Haulage. Oh, Harry and Sons. Cheers, mate. Well, Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Right. So let's crack on up here. Okay, so... Looks like it's relatively easy to get to. I think. <laughs> So it looks like the road bends around to the right. And then we've got to keep right. Yeah, so the road's split in here, look, so I need to keep right. The, the sign does say no HGV straight on, look, HGV's right. Okie dokie. I don't know where the office is exactly. Is it that blue building, perhaps? I guess I can go all the way around and just keep going around in circles <laughs> if I have to. We've got to go up and around, come back down on ourselves, and then somewhere there'll be a, an office at which, we, which we go into and get our paperwork. Oh, gets a bit narrow here, let's budge over to the right. I 
take it this is where we go left. There we go, round here. He did say there could be a queue of trucks, so I don't know. Please use numbered bays for parking on the right hand side of the road. Uh, is there a bay in front? Because there's not really a bay there without going on a zebra crossing. Yeah, see, there's a bay here, look. There we go, we go right to the front. Number two. I guess there's a number one down there somewhere, but I don't really want to. Go all the way down there if there's not. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go for a walk. It looks like one of those buildings down there is the office that we go to speak to. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we are in the queue now to be loaded. I've got curtains open. Don't know, don't know if you can quite see. Curtains are open, ready to go. We're just waiting now to be called on in. Once we are called in. Yeah, just give us a shout. Yeah, so um, we're, in, we're in the queue ready to go. So can I get someone to go first? His loader's ready. Not the end of the world. This ain't getting delivered until tomorrow anyway. But I have looked at where we're going to park potentially tonight. So let's have a look at that. So here we are now. The trouble is, it's three hours, sorry, four hours 38. So we're going to go over our driving time by eight minutes unless we stop somewhere on the way. So we might need to stop on the way up. Not a problem if we have to do that. Or we might actually make up some time. You never know. See, it's already gone to seven. Look, I haven't even moved. <laughs> uh, but we've got a couple of places saved. So the place I'm aiming for is this place here. It's near Brecon. It's a business park. Um, looks like I can drive in up here. There's a roundabout. You can spin back around, park up some area, or you can even drive down to the right where there's like a left turn. Then you can reverse back, and it's like a dead end road, so it could be nice and quiet there. So that's the first place I'm going to aim to get to. I probably will park there, but if it's busy, then uh, I'll have a break, and we'll probably just crack on up. To be honest, I've got a couple of laybys saved as well, just in case we need them. So there's a layby here. There we go. And if we go all the way up, if we want to go all the way as far as we can go, that's where we're delivering. There's another lay-by here as well. Obviously, lay-bys could get filled up. We don't actually know. They're there if we need them, do you know what I mean? If we don't park up there. But I suspect we're going to park up there tonight, which is four hours, 38 minutes away, according to this. So we'll have to have a break on the way on up just to clear the time. Interestingly, 20 past three, just gone, is when we'll be there if we left now. So if you include loading time and getting a break, we're probably going to still be there before five o'clock. So that's pretty cool. And then that's how long it would take to get to the actual place. So uh, 4.38 goes to 6.38. So we're still going to be two hours away from the morning. So from here, where this dot is, to the delivery, that's still two hours worth of driving. <laughs> it doesn't look like it, but it is. Uh, someone did say you get to Aber Aberdeen and it's still an hour away. So yeah, it does make sense. That is two hours driving there in the morning. Um, so yeah, we'll probably park up around about five o'clock tonight and then probably resume again tomorrow, probably 5 a.m., 6 a.m., something like that. Don't want to start too early. <laughs> uh, bed is a bit of a mess now because I've had to clear my uh, footwell in the passenger side because all my ratchets and all my straps are in boxes on the back of the trailer. Again, you can't quite see, but there's someone coming now. I don't want to look like a film. Them. You can't quite see, but there's, there's boxes at the back of the trailer with all my ratchet straps in. I was getting confused then, getting distracted. And I got, according to the paperwork, I got 52 pallets going on, which is 26 pallets, double stacked. So it's a full load, a proper full load and double stacked. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a full load. <laughs> and of course by full load, I mean no space on the trailer. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be anyway. So um, I'm making room in the passenger side well, foot well, just in case I've got to move those straps into the truck, which there's a good chance I will, but we'll see when we uh, when we get loaded. But yeah, we're just waiting, curtains open, waiting to be loaded. Okay, we are next in line. We've got to wear a hard hat when we're out of there and decided I'm, I'm wearing this 
to help keep my ears warm because it's bloody cold out there. Trouble is, with a hard app that's like this, it just falls off. So I am going to look like a melon with with my chin strap because <laughs> uh, it's the only way. Where is it? There it is. It's the only way it's going to stay on. But it's a bit snug with all this layers. Ah, ain't going anywhere now. <laughs> right, getting loaded, still cold. Um, just found out another lorry driver is going to Peterhead as well. So we might not even be the only one, or the first one rather going, who, uh, who gets there in the morning. Definitely at least one other truck is going as well. And they've just left, so they'll probably get there before me. Not bothered, it takes as long as it takes. Um, we're halfway loaded, just gotta get the rest on. I don't know if you can see that, double stack like I said to the roof, 52 pallets, we're going to internal strap them because they're light pallets uh, and then we crack on basically and there we go, so it looks like we put one internal strap over there just now, I'm going to drag it all the way down now, do it all up. Okay, slight change of plan but only in the sense of where I'm parking tonight, I was going to park Brecon I think it was. But it's like, I'll be finishing on seven and a half hours driving. I just feel like I could push a bit more. So I've got a, a, another place I'm gonna aim for. It's just west of Aberdeen in Kingsford. So I'll show you on the sat nav, look. So yeah, Aberdeen, just west of Kingsford. There's like a little industrial area here. So that's where I'm gonna aim to park. Hopefully we can make that. If we don't, then we can obviously go into a 10 hour drive and carry on up and try and find a lay-by somewhere. That's, that is where I think we're gonna be aiming tonight. I've also just found out that we're loading tomorrow. Once this is delivered, uh, we're gonna be collecting somewhere near Aberdeen and that's going all the way down to South Wales. Um, so yeah, another long trip. Okay, right, just walked back over. We've been loaded. We walked back over to where we were earlier, look, down there. Got our paperwork, got our vehicle pass to exit the port. We're good to go. On the uh, exception that we're not actually gonna go yet because I'm gonna have a break. Gonna have a 15 minute break here. And then we'll crack on and have half an hour break somewhere else, probably in a lay-by aspect. And then reset our driving time. Cause I said we need just over, no, we did need just over four and a half, but we're going a little bit further now, aren't we? So we need five and a half hours driving. So I need to drive an hour and a half, two hours, and then we'll have half an hour break after this 15 minute break. And then um, driving time should reset. We've got enough time then to crack onto where we plan on parking up for the night. And then I think I'll have to find out, but yeah, I think we're about, about an hour away then from our delivery point in the morning. And then we're going down to South Wales. When I say South Wales, it's more West Wales, like right in the corner of Wales, <laughs> like, where that man is with the hat. If you know, if you look at a map of Wales, look in the right and uh, the, sorry, the far left hand side corner, it looks like a man with a hat pointing towards Ireland. <laughs> That's where it looks like we're going down there. I'm not entirely sure where yet. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow. And that'll probably be in the video after this as well, that trip. We'll see. This trip is the trip to Scotland. Right, go have a break. See you in a bit. Okay, just like that, the break is up. It's over, so I'm gonna crack on, and I'll probably see you, probably when we're having our next break in, uh, in Scotland. It's 10 past 12 right now, so I'll see you in a few hours, see you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are about to hit the Scottish border. There we go, one mile, one mile to the Scottish border. We got the sea right next to us. Don't know what sea it is, but there is a sea right next to us. I remember coming down from Scotland on my last trip, and I was like, it was dark though, so I couldn't really see it. But I was like looking out, thinking, where is the sea? But yeah, couldn't see it because it was dark. But yes, yeah, yeah, one mile from the Scottish border. As you can see, it's getting very white out there as well. Um, some of the roads look not, I wouldn't say nasty, but just, I wouldn't really want to go down them. <laughs> and I'm, I'm talking about roads off of the main road. I mean, so this is the main road. Completely fine, nothing wrong with this road. But like, if you look at this left turn here, for example, it looks a little bit icy, do you know what I mean? And a lot of these back roads are like that, uh, coming around here, so we should be okay. I think we're, we're sticking to the main road all the way uh, until really where we're parking up tonight, but I would imagine, hopefully, 
it's all going to be okay, fingers crossed. But we'll have to see. But here we go, Scottish border. Normally I come to the Scottish border via the M4. M4? What am I saying M4? Via the M6. Um, there's no flags on the M6, but there's flags here, look. So we are now officially, officially in Scotland. So, congratulations. And the sun's coming back out again as well. It does look really nice around here, I must admit. Looks like you go for a walk down there. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, let's give you an up-to-date information on where we are. So, we are four hours away <laughs> from where we plan on parking tonight. Four hours. Now, we have done an hour and a half driving already, which means we're going to do three more hours of driving before we've got to park up. So, in the next three hours or so, I'm going to park up and I'm going to have a half an hour break. From there, wherever I park up, I don't actually know where I'm parking up yet, I'm just going to have to find like a random lay-by or something. And then, we'll have an hour to continue to get to where we plan on parking up for tonight. Now, we may make up some time, I'm not sure, but we're looking... After having a break as well, we're looking to get into our um, parking up space for about six o'clock tonight. So it will be dark, it'll be pitch black, because sunset is about four o'clock, which is in two and a half hours. So um, yeah, it will be dark, probably before we even park up to our break. So we're just gonna keep going, because it's only two and a half hours, we've got three hours left, so yeah. It'll be sunset at the very least. But um, yeah, we're gonna crack on now. We're gonna, next town we're gonna get to, or city is gonna be Edinburgh. Um, and then from Edinburgh, we can uh, go to Dundee. I'm hoping we get past Dundee before we stop for a break. So we should be past Dundee by five o'clock. That's the aim. Anyway, we've got to remember now, the speed limit has changed because we're now on a single carriageway. So from there in England, it was 50 miles an hour for trucks. Now it's 40 miles an hour for trucks. Not allowed to go any faster than 40 mile an hour on these roads until it's a dual carriageway and then you can do 50. But yeah, man, look, I'm, I'm guessing you can see the sea out there on the right hand side. Nice. Nice day for it. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. See you in a little while, probably when we're crossing Edinburgh Bridge, actually. So in a bit. Right, it's getting to that time of night now where it's getting dark out. It doesn't look too dark on the GoPros, but it is dark-ish. Everyone should really have their lights on. I think we're going to park up in the next lay-by if it's big enough and free. Should be just around the corner. Uh, where is it? Okay, I see the P sign. Okay. There is a truck in it. So it may not be big enough. There's two trucks in it. Can we squeeze in? Nope. Hmm. No, we're crack, we're crack on to the next one. <laughs> I think we could, yeah, we, we could have squeezed in, but we shall crack on to the next lay-by. Uh, we only need to stop for half an hour break. Um, I'm hoping there's a few lay-bys on this road. I don't actually know, but if you remember rightly earlier, I said I was going to stop somewhere and it would take me four hours and 28 minutes to get there, so I might make up some time or I might need a break before I get there. Well, that place is 25 minutes away from where we are now and we're on 401 driving, so we've got 29 minutes. So, 25 minutes away, 29 minutes available driving. So that's where we're going towards if we don't park in a lay-by. But I think I'd rather park in a lay-by for 30 minutes because if I go to that place, then I'll probably just want to park up for the night. <laughs> Whereas if I park in a lay-by, I won't want to stay. So I'll get back out. Also, I'm not deviating off the road either. Whereas this place that I've got set to where I was going to stop, you've got to come off the main A road, go round a loop-de-loop, -loop, go back down there, and then it's sort of down there a little bit. So... If we can get away with not parking there and having a break there, then we will. There's a lay-by coming up, apparently, because that was a half-mile sign. So at the crest of this hill, maybe we're stopping that one instead. And then all we require is a 30-minute break. Here's the parking sign. Look, don't know if you can see it yet, but blue parking sign. Just checking for vehicles behind me and either side. We're going to indicate this lay-by is free. So we're indicating to say we're going to stop. Cars behind me are overtaken, and we slow down once in the lay-by. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, we're going to stop for a half an hour break. Hopefully, when it comes to leaving, 
we can get out nice and easy. That's another reason why I want to stop now and not later, because of the time. It is ten past four. Um, if I went to the destination where I was going to park at, we wouldn't get there until half past four. And then by the time we get out, it'd be five o'clock. And by the time we get back to the A road, it'd be after five. And traffic could be a bit busier. And I noticed that there's not really a slip road to get back onto the main A road. So uh, that's why I've decided to stop in this lay-by here. Uh, in the meantime, we can cancel... Oh, by the way, hey Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes starting now. So we can cancel that waypoint on the sat-nav. So now it's taking us to where we are, where we are going to stop for the night. We're an hour and 14 minutes away. If we left now, we'd be there at uh, 25 past five. But obviously we need a break. So we're going to get there for about six o'clock tonight. So that's what I was estimating earlier. Um, that's good for a couple of reasons. I say a couple. I mean one. And that is that a lot of the businesses, when I let checked earlier, they shut at five o'clock. So hopefully it's quiet. And everyone's gone home and stuff like that. The, the gritters have been out. So the windows are a little bit dirty. That's why I'm cleaning them now. Salt has gotten all over them. And, uh, yeah, nothing else to really report. We're going to have half an hour break here. I suspect it will be quite a bit darker by the time you see me, because sunset is now. So I will see you in 30 minutes. Oh, before I do go, so, um, yeah, we've just driven for four hours and three minutes straight um, since we got loaded. So just gives you an indication of how long I've been driving. Four hours straight. And if I look on my phone, I can tell you how many miles we've just done in those four hours. So if I put in where we got loaded, which was there in Blythe, uh, it is uh, 200 miles away. So yeah, 200 miles, took four hours to do it. So that's an average speed of 50 miles an hour. Quick maths that. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, I'll see you after my break. See you in a bit. Right, break is finished. Engine is on. Lay by is still empty, but road to get out is busy, which is what I did not want. Oh, there's a gap. Go, 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 go. We've got a gap. We've got a gap. <laughs> Good timing. It's been really busy for ages, and all of a sudden there's a big old massive gap. Lovely. Um, yeah, so we've had a 45, no, we've had a, we've had a 30 minute break half an hour because we had a 15 minute earlier so now that's time reset and we can crack on to where we're going to park up for tonight and then tomorrow morning i'll um deliver the stuff and show you that but that'll be it but i have just received word from a customer that i'm picking up from tomorrow uh from aberdeen or sort of 45 minutes away from aberdeen is some farm on some back country lane um, going to be interesting if the roads are icy, that's for sure. I'm hoping they're not icy. And we've got to take that all the way to Wales, and it is near Pembroke. It's actually Haunton. Haunton we've got to go to. Um, and that's going to a farm. <laughs> and I've had a look, and it's like a proper single track lane. And again, if that's icy down there, that's going to be interesting as well. So that's not in this video, that's going to be in the next video from Scotland to Wales, um, like pretty much the top of Scotland almost, not really, but almost, down to the furthest corner of Wales is uh, an epic drive in itself, 500 odd miles, I think, or, or might be wrong. I'll, I'll let you know in that video. But yeah, um, it's gonna be interesting. A couple of really tight places to, co to, to collect and deliver to. So yeah, but yeah, we're, um, we're an hour and 12 minutes away nearly from uh from our place where we're going to park up tonight i'll see you when we get there and then i'm gonna have sweet and sour chicken and rice for dinner I've got a microwavable meal so that's what i'm gonna have for tea tonight i was i was really tempted to cook it just now and have it for my half an hour break but now i thought i'll wait i'll wait until i'm actually parked up and i'm relaxed put tv on as well and just, and just chill out baby <laughs> right see you in a bit Okay, we are just around the corner now from where I plan on parking up for the night. We're just um, heading into an industrial estate. I had a look earlier and it looks like you can drive in, go all the way up to the top, spin round, and potentially come back out again. 
Um, so I'm going to aim to go there. If it's busy, I have a second place in mind, but there are yellow lines, so it could be touch and go whether or not we can park there. <laughs> but we will give it a go. I've also just had an alert come up on my phone regarding weather. It says expect snow, 7 p.m. So that's in about an hour's time. Apparently there's going to be some snow, but we'll be parked up by then. But will we be snowed in? Ooh. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. It doesn't look like it's going to be very cold. Like, it's going to be like zero degrees, one degree. So it's not It's not going to be below freezing. Um, so I can't imagine the snow is going to stay. But it might. You never know. It might. But anyway, we need to take a left here at this roundabout. And then we're heading into the industrial estate. Need to keep an eye out on signs that says that we can't park up for the night. Need to keep an eye out for them. Big old Tesco's here, look as well. Oh, there's a snowplow. Doing the gritting. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a little bit icy, I think, in the morning potentially. Especially on the back roads. Man, this roundabout looks quite busy. Okay. Yeah, so these roads I was looking at and they look like, again, there's no lines or anything. So technically and legally, I think you're allowed to park on these, but obviously it's quite close to Tesco's and it looks like a relatively busy road. So we better not park on these ones. But if we go right down the end, we might be able to. We're all spinning. Maybe it's a bit quieter down there on the right. Yeah, it's a dead end down here, but I'm hoping, because it's a dead end, I'm hoping it's going to be quiet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Maybe we can get where we're parking. But yeah, there's no lines down here, so could technically park up. I'm hoping I can park up after this roundabout. Yeah, there's trucks down here. There are trucks down here. But is there any room left? That is the question. Might park up there as well, that's an option. Okay, don't think there's any room here. I was hoping to park up somewhere down there. So we're spin round. We've got two options now. But we've got this, well, there's more than two options. But there's two immediate options. Option one is to park in front of that other lorry, but after the junction. And option two is to go right at the roundabout, spin round as if and come back out again, and park up down there. Damn it, I was really hoping to park up here. I don't think I can get away with parking here. Nah, there's not enough room for the junction. Okay, second option. I can go check out the other place as well, but I was thinking of parking. Let me just, I'll park up here first, see if I get a feel for it. Customer entrance for Costco. So it's gonna be a busy road. Yeah, it's gonna be busy for everyone going into Costco. But I could potentially. You will arrive at your destination at 1756. Could potentially just park here on the left. Which is what I'm edging towards. Yeah, I'm edging towards Park Near. What time, what time does Costco shut? Oh, 
half past eight. Okay, cool. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to test, uh, go and check out the other area. There were double yellow lines all along the other area, but there were a couple of spaces where there were no yellow lines. Just trying to get out. <laughs> so we're going to have another look at the other area. Da, da, da. So this was the other bit of road I was looking at. There's double yellows all the way down here, but there's a couple of spaces, like right here, where there is no yellow lines. So if I can find one and park at it, again, no lines here. I think I've got my space. Got my space, there's enough room for vehicles to get around me. I have got my space. No double yellow lines on this side of the road. I think this would do. We can also put in our destination where we're going tomorrow morning just to double check how long it's going to take to get there. Uh, that one. Let's turn the engine off. Yeah, so we're still 40 miles away. Uh, an hour, basically. So that's not too bad being an hour away. You will arrive at your destination at 1858. Lovely. So I'm just going to jump outside now and just double check everything's okay with the road. Make sure I see no signs saying you can't park here. Um, and yeah, I think this would be the parking space. So I'll probably see you in the morning. Unless it really hammers down with snow. Maybe I'll get some footage, I don't know. But anyway, see you in the morning. Okay, I don't know whether you can see that, but it's uh, wow. starting to snow a little bit. It's also very windy as well. <laughs> Gonna get blown around tonight, I think. Right, morning everyone. We are in Peter's Head. P Peter Head, Peter's Head, or whatever. And we're only a mile away now from where we need to be. And the signs say harbour traffic this way. So that's, this is the way we're going. <laughs> now, road conditions, right now, completely fine. But on the way up from Aberdeen, because obviously we stayed at Aberdeen last night, my God, getting onto the main road, A90 I think it was called, from the slip road, I nearly didn't even get on the, on the, on the A road. I was just slipping on the slip road. Uh, and then once on the A road, it was just, there was ice everywhere. Ice everywhere. Had to drive very carefully, very carefully. And um, to put it into perspective, on the opposite side of the draw carriageway, where there are cars coming my way towards me there was a car facing the wrong direction <laughs> um it looked like it was a lady she obviously spun it or something and she was out of the car so i think it's all smashed up we might have to deal with that later on the way back down but i'm not sure yet huh <sighs> but yeah no it did snow a little bit last night whilst we parked up and then like i said this morning um the roads were just very icy but right now the roads are absolutely fine if they're all like this i'll be happy I'll be very happy. I need to um, go get loaded later with potatoes. You won't see it in this video, but I am going to vlog the journey back down to Wales and that'll be in the next video. So um, yeah, if you're watching this, definitely watch the next video due to go out as well, because that would be potentially interesting. It's definitely very tight in Wales where we got to deliver. Um, and it could be slippery here in Aberdeen. So mm, could be uh, could be an interesting one. Right, we want to turn right here. Still got Christmas lights up the house. Clear right, clear left. Up we go. Yeah, I was just spinning and spinning and spinning on the slip on the slip road earlier, so you had to, I had to like just basically stop accelerating and just crawl up at ten miles an hour. I don't think traffic behind would have been too happy, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, just notice we've got a, a right turn and then a sharp left turn. Well, not sharp, but more of a right immediately followed by a left. I didn't anticipate. Yeah, it's going to be totally fine. Harbour and fish market. I can't actually see. 
bloody junction. Couldn't see left then, because my seatbelt was stopping me from looking. Oh yeah, man, these roads are absolutely fine. I was worried that these roads were going to be a bit slippery as well, but totally, totally fine. Amber lights flashing, seawater overtopping. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I, I see the sea. <laughs> Waves. <laughs> right, now we've got to... I know roughly where we're tipping, I think. But whether it is or not, I don't know. And also, remember, there was another truck yesterday who said they were coming here as well, so... We might not be the only truck here. Could be busy. I'd like to... i like it not to be busy, though, to be honest, so I can just crack on. It could be any of these bays we need, you never know. <coughs> All clear. Zebra crossing. Oh, that truck looks a little bit like my truck. Looks very much like my truck. <laughs> Bump. Ugh. There goes my toothpaste. Um... Low bridge ahead, 4.3. That is not good, because we're... Oh, no, yeah, we're 4.2. What am I thinking? I thought we were 4.4 then. Is it referring to that bridge? Yeah, it is, anyway. Yeah, it's referring to that bridge, 4.3. But we're 4.2, so we're good. Plus, we want to come down here, I believe. So I think it's got something to do with these silos here, right in front of us. And if we turn right, there was um, some bays down there. I think it might be bays. A bay by that we've got to go on. Not entirely sure. next to the sea, look. Boats and everything. I might be in the completely wrong place, but I do believe forklift slow. I do believe we can come down here and get loaded down here. Sorry, tip down here, however. Literally a boat right there. I believe we are tipping here, if I had to guess. Yeah, there's no one to speak to. Um, I'm gonna have to just plonk it somewhere for a sec. Just gonna have to plonk it here and go and speak to someone. Put high vis on. Go and speak to someone, tell them what I got, and then they can tell me where I need to to be. I think that's the best bit. I did phone up yesterday. They said there's a shift change at seven o'clock, which is why we got here now, half past seven, so it gives people time to get in and stuff. Right, let's go see what we're doing. See you in a bit. Right, we know roughly what we're doing. When that lorry there moves, we're going over there. Um, but I just thought we'd take a quick look around. Yeah, just thought I'd go and have a little nose. No overnight parking over here, look, according to that sign. But there's the sea. That's a really good view, actually, not gonna lie. My iPhone is amazing. It looks a lot darker in real life than that's showing. That's cool. Anyway, so I was right. It does stink of fish around here. Obviously, they are, uh, but there's boats around the other side of these trucks, literally fishing boats, so you can't really be surprised. 
if I show you behind the scenes that this is. <laughs> yeah, actual fishing boats. Actual fishing boats. It does stink of fish around here. Anyway, I'm gonna get the buckles undone on my trailer ready. And then when we move over, we can uh, undo them and crack on from there. But uh, yeah. Okay, curtains are open. Uh, we're ready to be offloaded. We haven't been started yet, so just in case of sitting here and waiting for a little bit longer. Um, they do appear to have a lot of trucks of their own, which they're tipping as well. So it's just a case, I think, of just waiting. I'm gonna go sit in the truck now and just bank fire. There's not really a lot, a lot more I can do to go on so I'm ready when they are. Okay, it's now nine o'clock in the morning, as you can see. It's a lot lighter out as well. No longer dark. We're still here. <laughs> they haven't touched the other side. Uh, we've got three more pallets left to come up on this side, but yeah, the other side hasn't even been touched yet. It's taking longer than expected. Yeah, I was rather hoping to be out of here by now, to be honest with you. Um, I said to the place that I'm loading at later, which we'll see in tomorrow's video, that I'll be there between nine and 10, but said it's nine o'clock now. It's 45 minutes to get there. And uh, we've still got like a whole half of a load of lorry to be offloaded. So yeah, we're probably looking more like 12 o'clock there, which is annoying. Cause uh, that means I'm gonna be working late tonight as well. Um, I need to get down as far as I can really um, in eight hours driving plus I need a break as well on the way down so yeah because I didn't start work this morning until six ish I think I'm going to be working until quite late tonight like eight nine o'clock so it's going to be a, a long day today long day and it's just because they're taking ages to take this off never mind the fish are fight that the birds are fighting over a fish. The birds are fighting over a fish. <laughs> Mayhem. Go on, boys. <laughs> okay. Oh. It says it's four degrees outside, but it's actually quite chilly. <laughs> Just done the curtains up. We're now tipped. Um. We arrived at seven o'clock, no, half past seven, just before. And it's now 10 o'clock in the morning. So yes, we've been here for two and a half hours. It's a long time. Why am I NHS? I don't want NHS. NH app is, NHS app is trying to open up on my phone. Um, so yeah, we're done. Finally, we're at the most Northern point in Scotland and for this trip that we're on. Um, and now we can start making our way back down slowly. I've got to go get loaded now from a farm of some sort near Aberdeen. It's an hour and 15 minutes away from where we are now. And uh, that's gonna be in the next video as I've mentioned a few times. So I'm gonna end this video now and start the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I said, it's been a bit of an epic trip getting up here. And uh, now we can start making our way back down. And I'll see you in the next video when we make our way to Pembroke. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.